C Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a warm one today. Got up to 78 degrees in Lafayette, just four degrees shy of a record. But tomorrow, some 15 to 20 degrees cooler. Another front on the way and in between some showers. Yeah, and then even more rain as we head into tomorrow night and Thursday. More on that in just a bit. First off, though, big picture across the lower 48. And it's an active southern stream, jet stream here, the subtropical jet stream that is just slightly positioned to the north of us with that frontal boundary and um, more flood watches not only from Mississippi but into Alabama Georgia where it's been a wet spring and uh, we'll watch that as we indicated earlier that Mississippi River high and more rain getting into the Mississippi Basin but this part of the basin not this part of the basin where we're going to have to wait for the spring melt off up here to see how much water will be coming down the Missouri, the Mississippi, the Ohio, etc. So we'll be watching that as the months uh, move ahead. In the near term, lots of clouds across the area. Did see a few breaks in those clouds today. Uh, better rains up in the northern part of the state as we dial into the regional Doppler radars from Lufkin up through Shreveport. Uh, the rain's reaching Natchitoches right now through Monroe, and this is pretty much our frontal boundary. I don't think we see these heavier showers. This is mainly earmarked, unfortunately, for Mississippi, but we will see an increase in uptick in shower activity, especially after the front pushes on through. We've seen some spotty light showers. There's a little bit of a shower showing up uh, northern uh, into southern uh, St. Landry Parish and a few other showers around about the area. So uh, keep the rain gear handy just in case. And before that front gets here, I think we have the opportunity for some fog to try to set in this evening. We'll watch that, but it's going to be a short term issue as that front reaches the I-10 quarter around midnight and then blows out into the Gulf of Mexico and with it the fog as well. Dense fog advisory is still in effect for the coastal Louisiana. So a cool one with a few passing showers tomorrow. Rain chances should be too higher than 20, 30 percent. I have 40 percent, but that's mainly for late tomorrow as showers will be on the upswing going into tomorrow night and early Thursday with an area of low pressure that will be scooting off to the east of us and it'll keep it wet and raw and breezy. Really chilly temperatures upper 40s to near 50 for your high for Thursday afternoon. So it's going to feel like a winter day for sure. Finally, though, as we watch this system push on through, here's the European model modeling it. Maybe some storms down by the coast. Uh, but after that, we clear out. It's a chilly day on Friday. Highs in the low to mid 50s with lows Friday night into Saturday morning, dipping down into the upper 30s. Might even see some patchy frost. I'm going a little bit colder for Saturday morning and even Friday morning. We might see in the 30s, then moving ahead into the weekend. Saturday looking pretty good. Sunday showers are going to be back. And then the question was it going to do for Mardi Gras with any luck. We just have cloud cover on Lundi Gras. And then as we head into Mardi Gras, well, the European model is much more positive about uh, keeping the rain offshore. The GFS not so so we're still on the edge, but we're starting to nudge down the rain chances a little bit for Mardi Gras still being seven days away in the near term with the rainfall tomorrow night into Thursday. Look for a good soaking central Louisiana uh, between a half inch and an inch and a half across most of Acadiana. Another good soaking out there and boy, the ground has been awfully moist. There's that fog trying to work its way northward through 10 o'clock tonight, but watch as the front pushes it back to the south as we head into tomorrow morning. Temperature wise, we'll get down into the mid 50s by morning and we stay in the upper 50s to near 60 all day long tomorrow. Rain chance latest computer model going for about 20% most of the day and then you can see that rain chance perking up uh, tomorrow night going up to 90 to 100 percent tomorrow night. Early Thursday rains taper Thursday afternoon. Friday looks good. Saturday looks good, albeit on the cool side. In fact, this 10 day forecast shows at or below normal temperatures, even though there's no Arctic air anywhere in the United States. I'll comment a little bit more about that coming up tonight at 10. Are we mm -hmm. done with freezes yet? Well, we'll try Hopefully. to we'll try to tackle that tonight. At 10. OK, thanks, Rob.